Welcome to Wheelock. No! Are you ready to witness a collection of the most memorable traffic incidents? Get set for an exhilarating journey filled with surprises at every turn. Let's get it on! If you find yourself stuck on train tracks, abandon your vehicle immediately and move away from the tracks. Never try to outrun a train because even if it's a tie, you lose. Scary stuff! Don't be that person driving around with a snow-covered vehicle. It's simple, folks. When traffic slows down, you slow down too. Well, looks like that truck driver took a left turn and a little too sharply. Game over. No. He's okay. No. No. <sighs> What went on there? He's fine. <laughs> You're very lucky to escape with no damage or collision. A piece of metal pipe lying on the roadway was picked up and hit the windshield after being run over by another car. Another reason not to follow so closely. Oh dear, driving fast doesn't mean you get there first. Be careful, bro. It occurred on I-5 South Exit, California. Don't drink and drive, man. Holy sh... No, a rookie mistake. Attention to detail is key, folks. That's rough. Sometimes even when you're being cautious, incidents still happen. The car in front took no damage, so they just checked on and left. At least the car in the rear end of him was cooperative. Miraculously, the driver is safe. Let's like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our next videos, guys. If you enjoy our video, leave a comment below with the number one. Never fleeing from the law, you guys. We got a 1050 push bomb. Stop! Stop! Get on the ground! <laughs> Thank y'all. Yeah. I know. Come on, people. Let this be a lesson to always pay attention to the flow of traffic. What a nightmare! Hope they are both fine. That's a costly mistake. Always use the parking brake, folks. Looks like in Nevada he got hit with a tumbleweed invasion. Watch out for those rolling tumbleweeds. Well, not a sight you want to see on the road. Maintenance is the first step for safety. <laughs> the family purchased the used 2013 Toyota RAV4 just five days before it caught fire. Toyota recalled 1.8 million cars for fire risk.
driver said he panicked and hit the accelerator. She agreed to pay damages after that. Man, don't put anyone through that kind of discomfort. Whoops, luckily there were no injuries. They were traveling in Plant City, Florida. Hopefully everything worked out for him with the other driver and the insurance. Whoops, make sure to secure loads to prevent incidents like that and keep roads safe. That's crazy! How important is it to always be aware of your surroundings, folks? Ah, the sweet taste of karma. You reap what you sow. It happened in Houston, Texas. Thankfully, it was just a small scratch. Oh, you have to stay back 500 feet or they are responsible for damage. Can anyone identify a company name on the side of this truck? Location is in Texas. Don't cut off like that, man. I know this exit. Anything in and out of the airport is a mess and confuses many. Footage captured this incident on Bruxner Park Road, Australia. Learning at a park is not difficult, bro. No, avoid making sudden lane changes when you miss the exit, guy. to overtake here, dude. Oh, maybe pickup truck experiences a steering knuckle fail. Stopped at the stop sign, folks. I just assumed they were approaching a roundabout. This happened in Godletsville, Tennessee. Whoops! Hope there wasn't any trouble with identifying who was at fault. No, how did he get a driver's license? At least there were no collisions. Always check your blind spots by looking over your shoulder to ensure there are no vehicles in the lanes you intend to merge into, mate. No, man. Avoid sudden and erratic movements that may surprise other drivers. If you need to stop suddenly due to an emergency, use your hazard lights to alert other drivers. Stay alert, folks!
What is he thinking? Obviously, the other driver was wrong. I don't know why he had to back up so far. He had way more than enough room. They were driving on the 101 North near San Francisco wow. International Airport in California. Glad he braked and made it out. This occurred on Shepherd West and Chessworth in Canada. Drive safe, everyone. I think both are at fault. At least there were no injuries. Kudos to the person who called the Kern River Valley Sheriff for reporting the situation. This guy won the insurance claim. It was a tough battle. Well, good thing it was just a near miss. This occurred in British Columbia, Canada. Would the inside lane truck be at fault here? The car haul driver must be sure their load is in conformity before departure, or exactly this sort of thing can happen. Oh my god. Holy <laughs> Um, I am behind a trailer. This was in Birmingham, Alabama. <laughs> Luckily, they are both all right. You should be careful when riding in the shade in the winter. He's okay. Be safe on the road, folks. Hope angels will surround your car when you are driving. Dude probably took traction control off. A nice Lamborghini. Who was wrong in this case? You decide. Wow, how lucky he is. Oh my, stay safe out there, guys. Let's like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our next videos, guys. If you enjoy our video, leave a comment below with the number one. Fastest end to a pursuit I've seen. Good job, officer. Whoops, man, be careful where you go. Man, what are you doing? Don't cut off like that. No way! Stay in your lane, dude! He was definitely distracted. 
Take caution, you could not be as fortunate the next time. Guy can't hydroplane in the snow. Ah, it's because the glass is too clean, right? Oh, be careful, everyone. A little bit more defensive driving and you would have saved yourself the hassle of having your car spend two weeks at a body shop and the loss in second-hand value. Things happen in Gahana, Ohio. Everyone is alright. This occurred in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Stay alert on the wet roads, folks. Oh, no. He didn't feel like waiting in line like the rest of everyone. Be patient, bro. You stupid mother Hope you enjoy that, faggot. It's a good thing those two heroes came and saved the day at the end by putting the plastic barrier. Jesus Christ! Reflex is paid off today. Good save, man. Jesus Christ! The wreck occurred around 10.30 Wednesday morning in the village of Versailles, Ohio. An 18-wheeler had crossed over the tracks as a warning lights and bells began going off while the safety gate began to lower. The driver is fine. There was no one inside the vehicle at the time of the collision, and there were no injuries. Reduce your speed when approaching areas with limited visibility, such as intersections or areas obscured by obstacles. It turns out the other driver who hit him doesn't have insurance or a driver's license. Glad he bought a dash cam. I'm relieved the driver's okay. did wrong and learn from it. He's okay. <clears throat> you doing? Oops. Anyway, they exchanged info and are going to let insurance hash it out. Oh, my leg. Hey man, pay attention on the road. This is the same case. Thankfully, there were no collisions. Man, you can use the three second rule as a general guideline to maintain the safe following distance. Old but gold. Who is at fault? Let me know your opinions in the comments below. Let's like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our next videos, guys. If you enjoy our video, leave a comment below with a number one. Pretty incredible how quickly it lost traction. Do not imitate this guy.
Wheels spin off the mark to get in front of another car because of the parked cars ahead. <laughs> oh, the copper right there, you f It's truly instant karma. This is the moment a tree fell into queuing traffic in Stanford, UK during a storm. Glad no one was hurt. Yeah, I hope everyone gets home safely. This is why I never leave gaps or let people cross like this. At least I can prevent people from possibly doing like this. Oh, how can anybody be this careless? Pay attention, guys. Holy crap. It's sad how basic defensive driving techniques and knowledge are not widely known so much essential knowledge everyone needs to learn. Uh, you know, Roddy, oh. Glad the driver's okay. Oh, that van is coming way too fast to make that right turn. You know, Roddy, oh. Seems space wasn't an issue. He handled that really poorly. Anyway, the driver's fine. Really? No turn signal and didn't check mirrors? Man, don't do that. No way. How could he not see this car? A train and a truck collided in the firm territory, Russia. electrical pole was damaged and there were no injuries. Here's a great example of why crossing train tracks should always be done carefully. How lucky are they? They had a guardian angel on their shoulder. Oh, I think he sped up to beat the light. You can see that it was turning from yellow to red. And in speeding up to beat the light, he lost focus. Mm. <laughs> that is good. It could have been worse. Who is to blame here? You decide. No, the driver made a mistake with her foot on the gas. Glad no one was seriously injured. Hmm, I hope the truck driver will be more cautious on the road after that. It is better to pull over and check the tire out, man. A suspect in a stolen transit van escapes multiple pit maneuvers. Be careful on snowy roads, folks. What a nightmare. Did the truck's brakes fail?
Ensure the tires are neither underinflated or overinflated, and use a reliable tire pressure gauge to adjust accordingly, people. This is why it is hard for people to forgive criminals. Hope all of you become decent citizens. I hope that all drivers can drive defensively instead of exchanging tears for lessons. Hey man, it's important to turn your head and look both ways before changing lanes. The DC driver was going a bit fast through the intersection. Thankfully, everyone is okay. I think he moved faster than he meant to, perhaps an experience. Hmm, I think both are at fault. They should have slammed on the brakes instead of honking. Let's like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our next videos, guys. If you enjoy our video, leave a comment below with a number one. Whoops! Regularly inspect your tires for signs of wear, damage, or aging, such as cracks, bulges, or uneven tread wear. Hmm, the driver was definitely distracted. At least there were no collisions. Fucking blonde bitch. If you drive like that, you'll end up in a cemetery. No, what are you doing? This is why you keep your attention on the road and your surroundings. Ugh, they are definitely distracted. Avoid multitasking and concentrate slowly on the task of operating your vehicle safely. Ah, oh dear. Stay focused on the task of driving, man. Good thing he was paying attention. Ugh. How did he get his driver's license? See a train hits a tow truck in College Station, Texas. This is an incident with a truck and a diesel locomotive that occurred in Russia no one was injured. Oh my. Remember folks, follow the manufacturer's recommendations for tire rotation and balancing to promote even wear and extended tire life. Seems things are going wrong. At least everyone is fine. Reduce your speed as you approach the intersection, you guys. When you think the stop sign is optional, don't run it, man. Guy, wait for a safe gap in traffic before initiating the maneuver.
No way. Avoid reckless driving behavior like cutting off other drivers. Be patient, dude. Glad it didn't turn into something much worse. Oh my! People who do this really need to be fined. What is this doing? I have no idea, dude. Slow down. Jesus, dude. Oh my god. No, silver vehicle runs a red light and causes an incident with an orange car. Luckily, nobody got hurt. This is a multi-vehicle incident in Summit County, Ohio during a snowstorm in 2023. Nobody got hurt. I think the truck driver was going left for the upcoming exit and misjudged the space between them and basically just pitted the car. The ambulance was going cautiously through the intersection. If the car driver didn't see that, they need to reevaluate their license. Yes, this is why I never run a red light. In Toledo, Ohio, a driver couldn't see the road because of bright oncoming headlights and drove straight into the curb at about 40 miles an hour. Everyone was okay. Well, a typical collision incident on the road. Have you ever been in a similar situation? That is why periodically check for signs of wear, listen for unusual sounds, and address any issues promptly. Ensure the axles and wheels are in good condition. Whoops! Do not imitate this. Don't do risky things like this. If a lien is detected, immediately address it by adjusting the load. First and foremost, stay calm and avoid sudden maneuvers. Turn on your hazard lights to alert other drivers. If your vehicle is drivable, pull over to the side of the road safely. No, even the dash cam driver went way too fast in a 50 kilometer residential zone, but I don't know if the driver got their license renewed or not. Hmm, mechanical failure or distracted by something like a dropped phone. If he drives straight over, the two cars will not collide. He will pass the rear of the car just in time. Oh dear, one billion percent chance he didn't help clean it up. He was all suited up in his expensive $900 gear and the fact that it saved his life. You can raise those gates very easily. Just hold them up with your hands. Put the car in neutral and push it off the tracks. The tram train wants to be hugged, but the car says no. Surprised the tow driver didn't feel the pull from the side of the truck being towed. Glad no one was hurt. No way. All three cross lanes were impeded by traffic, and they just went for it. I have no idea what they thought. I can, I can, I can. It's paramount that tires on vehicles are replaced when they become old. 
At least his truck didn't flip as well as the camper. Oh, a gift from a snowplow truck. How ever can I reject this gift? Oh no, what is he doing? Texting or sleeping? Well, it seems that not everyone can operate this type of trailer. Get out, just get in the lane, 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 get out lane. There you go, good job. Good. Oh my, lucky for that motorcyclist, also lucky nobody's on the path. Uh, hope he is okay. The material is being processed by the policemen of the district. The press service of the police department said this. Whoops! Truck drivers should be vigilant for parked vehicles. Glad there were no injuries. Bravo! It's everyone's lucky day! Wow, skill or luck? Anyway, you should shift into a lower gear to slow down gradually. He just couldn't unhook the semi-trailer and here's an opportunity. Do not imitate this. My question is, where was that truck coming from and going to? There aren't many places he could have come from. Running red lights at intersections because traffic rules are just suggestions, right? Do not imitate this. <coughs> the truck driver must know and feel the impact of the object, chosen to walk and act as if nothing happened. Yes, you won't see anything on the road, so you always need to be prepared for any surprise, especially when overtaking and changing lanes. I hope insurance will pay for all his damage, as it is clearly the other driver's fault. No, no, look what happens when you stay in your lane. Where was he looking? Oh no, why are you speeding so fast into that intersection when you can clearly see traffic ahead of you? mountain roads have a lot of greasy leaf litter that is always wet and sometimes never sees sunlight. Add that to the rain and you have a skating rink. This is why everyone remembers to always wear your helmet and leathers. Oh no, but can you explain why the sudden drop in speed? Has anyone noticed something dropping onto the road? That was what led to the collision. Why fly through such an intersection? Don't they explain in driving school now that you don't need to pick up speed at an intersection in order to get through it faster? It feels like they're watching this situation on TV and calmly reacting like this. so lucky. Oops, who is that fault?
Why do these truckies think putting it on an indicator gives them the right of way? I have no idea. Let's drive like we know where we're going, and that's not into each other. The driver was suspected of being intoxicated and was driving recklessly on Highway 100. West Dallas police officer was able to perform a pit maneuver to end the pursuit. They parked their car too close to the cliff. Unbelievable, no one was hurt. The only reason they go on this road currently is because their GPS tells them to. Driver drives into the bike lane, gets collided by a truck in a bike lane, changes directions at the last minute. Neither of them are on the right. Never turn if you miss the exit. What was he thinking when he turned there? Well, if there was no dash cam or witnesses and the entrant vehicle recovered, the police would just record it as a speed related. Uh, he probably didn't slow down on purpose to get the jackpot. All two wheels at once. Well, smart move. Is that also part of what caused it? Probably not, but looks close. No way, he didn't even slow down. Do not imitate this. Oops, that is too close. Ooh, who ran the red light? Oops, a blue Ford Taurus failed to yield at a green Ford Ranger, and they smashed head on. The Taurus driver admitted fault. No one was injured. Pilot did a fantastic job missing all the poles, wires, bridges, and signage to even get on the ground. Unbelievable, no one was hurt. You need a downshift before entering the turn. Power steering did not have enough revolutions, perhaps. We know the truck that hit the Kensworth isn't in the wrong, but why would the Kensworth driver pull up on the outside of another truck about to enter a roundabout? Well, mechanical failure of some sort. You can see right behind his tag axle that something goes wrong and causes the driver to lose control. So you honk at him, but he thinks that he blocked you from passing and cleared the road faster. Hmm, stopping at red lights and turning into the correct lane are so overrated. Don't do that. Thank you for watching videos from start to finish. Share your favorite moment in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, please show your appreciation by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel. See you next video.